Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and today in the world of QuickBooks Point of Sale we are going to go over the customer order preferences. Customer order preferences is going to be three different sections for the three different types of customer orders. We have layaway, we have sales order, and we have work order. The reason why I'm doing all three of these together is that all the preferences are practically the same because all of these are customer orders and they're all used slightly differently but the settings are almost the same so it's just gonna be really easy to fly right through them before we do that don't forget to click on the link down below to get over to the QuickBooks point-of-sale Facebook group join up there to ask questions about errors workflow training or request a video for this channel and if you're on YouTube right now, don't forget to hit subscribe and you will get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos. All right, let's go into it now. I'm gonna head up on the file menu. We're gonna head down to preferences and then company. And I'm gonna draw a nice little box around this section right here. We can see that we have layaways, sales orders, and work orders, and these are all gonna be very much the same, but you probably wanna set them up a little differently depending on how you're using them. So starting off with layaway preferences, we have the initial deposit. Now, when you're in your store and somebody wants to put something on layaway because they don't have enough money yet, or maybe it's a big money item and they just wanna keep paying a little bit until they pay it off. I know this used to be a lot more prevalent, uh, some years ago, but maybe you still have it. Maybe you still do it. Who knows? But in your layaway, do you want them to uh, have an initial deposit? Uh, I would expect that you probably want a deposit on a layaway. It makes sense. Why would you hold something back from selling to other customers unless uh, somebody has some money or skin in the game? So you can uh, choose between a few of these choices here. One is to suggest an initial deposit or the other is to require an initial deposit. And that's really up to you, you know. Do you want to make it as, as a suggestion? Uh, the big difference is here with your clerk or your employee when they are taking and doing this layaway. If you just suggest a deposit, then they can say, no, we're going to skip the deposit. We'll just put it on layaway. Just just because we like you. But if you require a deposit, then the layaway will not be able to happen uh, unless this deposit is taken. If if you don't process the deposit, then it, it's gonna say, sorry, we're not gonna save this layaway. We're not gonna do it. So this in this manner, the computer will block the layaway from happening unless it gets 20% down. So you can set that however you feel like and I would suggest that you do a layaway deposit. Now layaway status is when you save the layaway, you can have any number of custom statuses. These are the default ones, which is that the layaway is open or the layaway is pending or the layaway is closed. And when the layaway is closed, it'll drop off of the little list there automatically. It'll still be there if you look at all the layaways uh, closed and open. And pending can mean whatever you really want it to mean. But, you know, I'm thinking about the workflow somebody might go through when they do a layaway. So, uh, you may add some custom statuses. Like one might be, uh, you know, you might have one of your employees go through and figure out which ones are all one month old. Or maybe six months old or last chance um, or customer contacted you know you might want some of these statuses for your layaways where this person's not coming to get their stuff it's been a long time we're gonna move it to this status and this status and then finally nobody comes and picks it up we're just gonna close it we're gonna keep their deposit um, you might have some want some wordage on your layaway slip that says if you don't pick it up in this amount of time Then we're just gonna keep your deposit. So there you go. And then uh, for the printed layaway message uh, That might be the place where you say a six-month pickup window Deposits kept after that blah blah blah, you know, okay, so I think you get kind of what we're doing here 
Now document numbering is its own little page under layaways and this is gonna be the same for each. Uh, I mean, there's different settings, but it's the same idea for each of these different customer orders. So the normal numbering sequence is just sequential numbers starting at the number two, I guess. You could make it seem like your store has been open a long time and start at 200 or something like that. Or you can do customer's last name with a number. You can do the date with a number. You can do the store number in a number if you're on multi-store. Or you can just define a custom layaway number format. And this, so this will be the number that's up in the corner of the document. And when the customer either calls about it or comes in and gives it to you, they can give you the number. You can look it up pretty easily. So there you have it. That's pretty self-explanatory. We're gonna move on to sales orders. And sales orders, if you don't remember, are usually placed when a customer wants something that's not actually in your store right now. And so they, um, they're requesting an item and you actually have to make a purchase order and get it from the vendor. And when it comes in, the sales order will be processed and they will uh, come and get it. So a little different than a work order or layaway. And once again, you can not require a deposit, but it's probably recommended that if you're ordering this, especially for the customer from your vendor and it's gonna show up, you want them to have some skin in the game and actually come and get it instead of getting this special item over here. And then they're like, ah, I don't want it. And then it just sits around your store. So you might wanna suggest or require an initial deposit. Maybe you want them to put 50% down, who knows? So you can make all sorts of sales order statuses of again and some good ones might be um, product is ordered for this sales order uh, it might be product arrived customer contacted for oh can't go that long um, something like I don't know pick up ready uh, customer notified <laughs> so you can move your sales order through all of these stages and know exactly where everything's at um, you know if it's if the pickup is ready uh, or you can have your employee come in and look at all the ones on the dashboard that are pickup ready and your employee might just sit there and call each person and say hey it's ready hey it's ready hey it's ready come on in and then he can move them he or she can move them to customer notified and you see how you can just totally make up your own custom workflow to work uh, exactly how your business needs to work. So you get it there and then you know you can make some special sales order message that might have something to do with uh, why the deposit would be kept or you need to come and pick it up when we notify you or if you're not able, I don't know, whatever kind of rules you're gonna have in your workflow with your customer. You know, you can't be a can't be a free for all with no rules where the customer might pick it up next year or something crazy. Uh, once again, document numbering very much the same as the other one. Sequential numbers, last name, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Same exact settings as with layaways. Now, work orders very much the same again. Uh, work orders are generally used when you have a product or a project for your customer your customer comes in and places a kind of a maybe a customized order or something specific usually has labor involved something your employees are going to do for them and so um let's see i just had a deer processing store and then we were talking about work orders and they have people bring in their deer from hunting and you know they want the antlers and they want the sausage and they want the meat and they want burger and all, all these different things so they would put together a big work order of things that the employee is going to do and the work order uh, would be you know once again you might want to suggest a deposit or take a deposit because if they don't have any money in the game and you do all this work for them and then they're like, ah, I get, I changed my mind. I don't really want the thing that you specially made for me anymore. Well, if they have no money in here, they can just be like, yeah, screw you. I'm out of here. I, I don't really care because I didn't pay anything. And you actually in turn end up getting kind of, you know, wrecked over it and you got to eat it. Uh, so you can require an initial deposit, you know, who knows, 50, 75, whatever. 75%, 
And we have the work order statuses. Once again, you can be like sent to blacksmith <laughs> or um, at embroidery shop or something. Broiderer. And so whatever you need to do to move it through your workflow where all of the parts of the job get done um, or, you know, sent to the warehouse. Whatever you do when you have a custom job that takes labor, you can make specific stages that your work order moves through. And then, of course, at the end, it's like... Um, the good ones are all obviously ready for pickup and customer contacted so you can move your work order through every single stage until the customer comes and gets their final product and once again you might want some rules in your work order message so that's that and the last page we have to cover here is document numbering which is very much the same as the other two sections exactly what it sounds like it's for numbering your work orders in a special manner and what number you're on to start with all right my name is peter with blackrock business if you have any questions or comments about uh the customer order settings you can leave them down below in the comments and i will do my best to answer you very quickly and otherwise i hope you have an excellent day thanks bye